Hey everyone, it's Dave and I've got a quick video today because I'm being contacted by more and more people who are actually converting RX-8 to EV. Um, I don't know if they're being inspired by my videos or other people's videos, but it's brilliant the uh, number of projects that are going on. Probably up to a count of at least six or seven that have contacted me. And um, I think if you look online you'll find other people in the forums and stuff who are all picking it up. Um, so that's brilliant. And I'm getting asked a repeating question quite a lot, so this video is to answer those questions. Um, and that is, how do I access the CAN bus uh, inside the bonnet, so not from the, the uh, cockpit of the car? And how do I access the throttle pedal? How does that work? What does it do? How, it's not on the CAN, so you, you actually need to access it through wires rather than the uh, digital signals. So this video is just a very quick one. Uh, I've got a, a PDF that I've scanned as part of the uh, one, it's one page from the electrical document from the RX-8. I've annotated it, annotated it with a few bits and pieces and I'll just walk that through now and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, that'll answer a lot of the questions and uh, help you guys out there who are kind of stuck at the point whereby you've actually fitted the motors but you can't access the throttle pedal and you don't know how to get all the lights off on the CAN bus, on the, uh, on the dashboard, sorry, because you can't access the CAN in the bonnet and there's just thousands of wires and you're stuck and you need help. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this will help you guys out and uh, I accept payment in beer and cider. <laughs> so contact me if you want to send me anything to drink. Um, I'll was over to my computer now and uh, I'll show you that document. Okay, so here we go. This is a very important page out of the electrical document for the RX-8. This is actually page 12, you'll see it in there. Um, brief explanation about how these pages work. In the middle is kind of the uh, module that the page is talking about, and in this case it's the PCM, so the main brains, the main computer uh, controlling the RX-8. And then top at the top here, at the bottom, lots of ancillary devices, are all, they're all connecting to it. Now, of course, they're all. Each one of these lines is a physical wire, and it can be running anywhere in the car. You you won't know where the, where it's running. But what this shows you is what the wires connecting to. So at the bottom here, we've got the mass airflow sensor. I'm not interested in that for the EV, but it shows you here that this wire is 5U. Now, what that means is that's connector five, which is down the bottom here. This this bigger connector, five uh, U. If we find it on here, not always that obvious because it is really small. You find five U. And that's the wire on the connector. Now, these two connectors at the bottom here, connector four and connector five, are the two connectors that plug into the PCM. So when you remove the PCM, these are the two you have to take out. And uh, so this is how you find out which wire on the connector does what. And the important ones on this page are the accelerator pedal position sensor. Uh, you have six wires coming from that, and they're all labeled here, uh, 4X, 4A, B, 4C, 4Y, etc. And I've pointed arrows to them just to make it a little bit more obvious. So here we go, we've got the output two, which is 5C, is in the bottom right hand corner there. It also very handily gives you the colors of the wire. So R slash W is red with a white line or a white dash on it. Uh, now be a bit careful because it's not always that obvious. I think G is actually gray, not green, um, but it is fairly obvious when you've got a connector that um, you know, you've got two wires next to each other. It should be fairly obvious which is which when they, when you know what colour they are, where they are. Um, be reminded as well that the connectors here might be inverted because you might be looking at the uh, connector that plugs in and not the output of the PCM. Obviously, you've got a male and female situation going on. But again, judging by the colour of the wires given, it's really hard to get it wrong, and these aren't symmetrical. So when you look at it, you'll see very strange, obviously, that you're looking at it one way or the other. So coming back to the accelerator pedal, um, the accelerator actually has two sensors in it. And one, I, I thought maybe it was for redundancy, and it probably kind of is, but I think actually it's more that it compares the output of the two uh, throttle sensors. And if there's obviously a big difference, then one of them has failed and you're probably going to limp mode or something like that. Um, for my RX-8, I only actually used one of the sensors. Um, I plan in the next version to actually use both. But here you go. There's um, two wires which are both ground. So you just need to earth those. Two wires which are plus 5 volts. Now, that's 4X and 4Y. That's not the pedal giving you 5 volts. That's You have to supply the pedal with 5 volts because that is actually turning the pedal on and making it work. It's a bit annoying it's not 12 volts, but there you go. That's what it is. Um, I just used a very basic 12 volts to 5 volt uh, DC converter. That's a tiny little thing, a couple of inches long. Buy them on eBay, dead simple, to supply those with power so that it would turn the pedal on 
and that will give you these two output signals, out one and out two. And as you can see at the top here, output one gives you a range of 1.64 volts to 4.04 from no throttle to full throttle, and output two is 1.05 to 3.45. So this isn't giving a CAN bus output or anything like that. It is a straight variable voltage range that you can then either go straight to your um, electric motor controller, and it might be programmable, and you can tell it the range to accept, or you have to do what I did, use an Arduino to modulate it because my uh, controller needed a different voltage range than I was getting from the output and uh, that's what I use the Arduino for. Um, so that's all there and the last final thing which I'm being asked about is where's the CAN bus and you can see here that it's 4, uh, is that what, 4V and 4S? I can't really read it very well. Oh yeah, it's 4V and 4S and that's the CAN bus high and low. Unfortunately, I forgot to note which is which, which is high and which is low, but you're not going to do any damage. If you get it around the wrong way, it just won't work. You just need to swap the wires around and, uh, and you'll get the traffic on the CAN bus. So I hope that helps. A bit of information about how this electrical document works, how you can read it and get what's what's going on. Um, tells you where the throttle pencil sensor is for here and the CAN bus. I really hope that helps. Uh, subscribe to the videos as always and like. And if you need any help, obviously ping us a message. You've got my email address in the uh, content of my channel. I uh, hope that helps and I'll speak to you all soon.